Okay, this is my phase shift menu, something that you'll see in Algebra 2 and also in Trig. It's how sine function, cosine function, tangent function, uh, cosecant, secant, or cotangent function works in phase shift. So this is the main menu. You can go through and see each graph. First one was sine. This is cosine. This is tangent. This is cosecant. And this is secant. And this is a cotangent. All of them are in the term of pi, but it's basically what you're given. You'll know what you're given on thing. I'm just going to use a simple sine one. And let's say maybe the height, maybe this is 2. And this is, let me make that 1. I'm going to make this pi. I'm going to make this negative 1. If this does, it definitely graphs the function. Now it gives me the period, which is period is 2 pi. The amplitude is 2. The shift left is 1, or pi units. The shift down is 1 unit down. The center line is y equals negative 1. So the line that goes across the center here is y equals negative 1. This is the 0, or our, our x, x axis. This down here gives us the amplitude. And that's what the amplitude is, to, the amplitude is 2, so it's saying it's 2 units. Hit enter. I want to try again. I'm going to go with no. And it brings it back to the main menu. I can scroll through and it can ask you about cosine, tangent, or whatever. It'll still work exactly the same. I'll do, I'll do a tangent. This time I'll say, and make this 3, make this 4, 0, and 0. And he starts drawing the tangent lines. And basically it's no shift up or down. The center line is at, as you can see, y equals 0. The period mean is 0.5, so one complete graph can, uh, consists in the 0.5 units. And there's no shift left or right. Enter. Don't want to continue. I'm going to go. I'll try again. I'm going to say no. And that's my face shift. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me.